and we had a lot of members join us and it was a kind of proof of concept like this works i mean really it really just did work even then we you know the, the public support that we got the media debate that changed even then so even though it didn't touch everyone we knew that if we did it bigger it would work better uh, which was what we were trying to do in april and which we amazingly just pretty much did succeed in doing um so yeah for anyone who didn't watch the whole thing then yeah i think the 15th of april we occupied four major london sites and uh, the youth got a, a, a temporary site in piccadilly circus so four or five uh, major sites which we didn't relinquish until i think 10 days later not because we thought we'd achieved our aims but because the police arrested a thousand two hundred people i think um, or made a thousand two hundred arrests um, and so yeah it was eventually rendered untenable for us uh, it was an incredible two weeks um, i hope that a lot of you got a chance to to just feel what it was like to to be out there and witness public space and empowerment and all of that kind of reconstructed um, the the reason why that's relevant is we were all pretty tired by I think the 27th of April um, it was pretty you know emotionally draining and fraught and everything um, and then we woke up to see a, uh, a letter in the Times from 50 uh, business leaders uh, welcoming the advent of XR business um, which was it's kind of a running joke for me and others in XR that often we use national newspapers as our internal communications platforms so this was news to most of our members the whole XR business uh, bid and uh, it had a fair amount of pushback uh, especially from the international XR community which we're pleased exists uh, so we we had asks of business or we had we had this we've since retracted the website for XR business um, but I think the idea must still be there in some form that we have asks of you, you the business community. Um, so uh, just to avoid speaking too long, I'll just summarize briefly that it can pretty much be summarized in terms of first step, declare a climate emergency. This is what we've been asking all our NGOs we've been speaking to to do on the partnerships team. Um, just it, it's it's demand one of extinction rebellions three demands and they they are pretty kind of one after the other um so we need to tell the truth and act as if it's real it's a kind of m mantra that gets thrown around a bit and recognizing how dire it is i imagine we you know this this room is probably more aware than most although i i don't know personally i have gone through successive stages of re-realizing oh it's actually much worse than i thought so I, yeah, basically do that. <laughs> Great. Thank you, Douglas. Is that? Yeah. That good? Okay, so I'm going to 